While you are at university, you will be expected to reference your work carefully. That means that every source that you quote or paraphrase in your work must be acknowledged uh, with a reference in the work and a full reference in your reference list at the end of your piece of work. This will give your work academic credibility, which could help you improve your marks, and it will also make sure that you avoid plagiarism, where you may be uh, accused of having used someone else's words as if they're your own. There's loads of help and advice on referencing and plagiarism available through the Dean of Students Learning Enhancement Team at UEA. There's a whole host of information on their web pages, but you can also make appointments to go in and see someone from the Learning Enhancement Team, and they do run drop-in sessions as well. Let's have a look at their website on plagiarism. This is the Referencing and Plagiarism Awareness page on the Dean of Students website. So there's a short video here on what plagiarism actually is, and then a whole section on the different resources available to you for um, help with referencing and plagiarism. Cite Them Right Online is a really useful online site that helps you find out exactly how you should reference a particular type of material. You can access it from this link on the Dean of Students pages, but you can also go to the Find Databases list on the library website to access this tool. It's called Cite Them Right Online. And all you need to do is type into the box what it is that you want to reference. So let's say I have a book that I want to reference. Cite Them Right Online will give me a list of all of the different type of material that matches uh, what I've typed in. So I typed in book and you can see it's bringing up things like book reviews, book illustrations. If I scroll down, the simple printed book is here. So if I want to reference a printed book, I'll click on printed books and it will show me how I should lay out the citation in my work and how I should lay out the reference list citation as well. Now what it's showing me right now is the style for Harvard which is often called the author date system. In law you may be frequently asked to use a style of referencing called a scholar. So all I need to do to look at a scholar is change this drop down menu to a scholar and then you'll see that the information on the page changes because what I'll be expected to include in my citation and in my footnotes is a different layout. So that's how you use Cite Them Right online. So which style should you be using? Well you'll need to check your module guide for each individual module. Some law first year modules will use Harvard most of your law modules will use a scholar. If you're studying any modules from other schools within UEA, you'll need to check with them what they expect you to use, but Harvard is the most common style used across the social sciences. If you want more information on a scholar, that's freely available online, and there's a link here to the guides. And remember, both Harvard and a scholar are included in Cite Them Right Online. If you want any more help or practice using these styles, do remember that you can go and see the Learning Enhancement Team in the Dean of Students Office. But there are also some really useful guides just available on the web. Particularly the Cardiff University Library Service have some excellent tutorials for both Harvard and a scholar. So you can find those at the links on the screen or just by googling for Harvard referencing tutorial.